This is one of multiple videos showing you iOS commands that can save you a lot of time and optimize the way that you work with the Cisco CLI. In the previous video, I showed you terminal length zero, which allows me to view the entire configuration in one go. But there's another option that's really nice called show run line number. Line number puts lines next to the configuration, such as the following. So I can see that this configuration consists of 295 lines. I'll set the terminal length back to the default of 24. And notice if you're looking at a config and talking to a colleague on the phone and you wanna have them look at say this specific line, you can tell them, have a look at line number 157. So as an example, you could do something like this. Show run line number include 157. And that would show you in this example, lines that include 157. We're seeing another line here, which includes 157. So as an example, you could do something like this. Show run line number and say include three spaces 157. And notice we only see that line. So an underscore represents a space in regular expressions. So if you do have another line number, as shown there, you can get round that by adding three spaces to the beginning of your include statement. But as an example, if we wanna see this line, we could say show run line number, pipe include 288. And notice we see line number 288, line console zero. So again, show run line number puts numbers next to each line of the running config, making it easier to find parts of the configuration that can be combined with the pipe include option or a begin option. So let's say we wanna begin at 153. Notice the running config is shown from line 153. And then again, if you wanna just include that individual line, you can use the word include. So show run, line number pipe include 153 only shows us that individual line. So line numbers can be very useful to find out where you are in a configuration. At the moment, when you type show run, if you have a certificate like here, you have that certificate in the running config and you could have multiple certificates that take up a lot of running config. And that means that you have to scroll through them. So if you type show run, and there are multiple options here, but let's choose brief. The certificates are not shown. So notice we see the certificate option. We see crypto information here, but we don't have to scroll through a certificate. That's different to a standard show run, which is gonna show this certificate information in the running config. So if you have multiple certificates, or you wanna show the configuration without the certificates, use the show run brief option. Let's have a look at some regular expressions. Regular expressions are used in many places, but I'll use the running configuration as an example. So if I type show run, pipe include, and I'm just gonna look for I, we'll have multiple lines that display with I in them. I at the beginning, I somewhere in the line, I over here, I over here, and so forth and so on. If we use caret I, it's only gonna show us lines that begin with I. So notice all those lines begin with I. If I say include two, that's gonna show me all lines that include two anywhere, such as the default gateway. But if we say $2, that's lines that end in two. 
that can be very useful when you look at large routing tables. You may want to use regular expressions to search for values. Dot is a single character. So if I type show run pipe include dot, it's going to show me all lines in the running config because all lines have a character. But if I want to actually see dots, I use the escape character of a backslash. And notice now I see lines that include a dot. So the dot or period, if you prefer, is displayed because of that backslash. So if I want to see this specific line, I could do something like this. Show me lines that include dot eight or dot eight dot. So that's the only line that has dot eight dot somewhere in it. If I wanted to look for, say, this specific line, I could say, show me eight seven dot. Remember, if I don't put the dot in, it's not actually looking for a dot, it's looking for a character. And notice the output here is very different. Here I've got 87 followed by a two. Here I've got 87 followed by an actual dot, which is what I was looking for. Another regular expression is to look for, let's say 87 or 255. So that will show me all lines that include 87 or 255. This line includes 87, this line includes 255, here's 255, here's 87. So this is an or statement. So I could say or, and let's say technical. So that will show me all lines that either have 87 in them, or 255, or the keyword technical. Have a look at show run pipe question mark to see multiple options. Depending on your iOS, you'll have many options here. You could redirect the configuration somewhere. As I've shown you, section is quite a popular one. So section, so section OSPF only shows me the OSPF configuration. Or section VTY will show me the VTY configuration. Or section console shows me line console but in this example shows me other config as well. Show run interface gigabit zero slash zero shows me the configuration of that interface. Show run interface gigabit two slash zero shows me the configuration of that interface. So show run has many options that you may find useful. All as an example shows the configuration with all the defaults included. Generally defaults are not shown. So notice here we see a bunch of defaults that you typically won't see when you just use a show run. So if you wanna see what the default configurations are, there you go. A lot of output is shown in the default configuration. And talking about defaults, show run interface gigabit one slash zero, let's use two slash three as an example shows the configuration of an individual interface, but you can use the default interface command to reset the configuration of an interface to defaults. So now do show run interface two slash three. Two slash three shows us the configuration set to defaults, whereas previously we had this configuration on the interface. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.